Some of you may or may not be aware of who this guy is, but this is someone we've talked about, or I should say I've talked about on my channel before in the past. But this guy's name is Owen Diaz, and he was the black employee who worked at Tesla who sued them successfully for facing racial discrimination while working for the company. And he sued them and won a whopping $137 million lawsuit against the company, which blew everybody's minds because who would have thought that a black man would have taken Tesla to court for racial discrimination and actually win a huge amount of money like that? Well, that was short lived because while he actually did win that case and he won the rights to that money, a judge who's presiding over it while he agreed that he was that they were liable to pay him, they slashed his one hundred thirty seven million dollar payout all the way down to fifteen million dollars. Now, you got to think of how much of a huge gap that is or how much of a drop that is from one thirty seven to fifteen million. Now, I'm going to go ahead and read this article coming from The Verge, and I want to see what their reasoning was for this. A judge reduced the amount of money that Tesla will have to pay a black former employee who successfully sued the company for racial harassment and discrimination. Last October, a jury awarded Owen Diaz, who worked as an elevator operator at Tesla for nine months in 2015 to 2016, $137 million in damages after he accused the company of ignoring racial abuse and discrimination. On Wednesday, U.S. District Judge William Orrick issued a ruling that said that Tesla was liable to Diaz, but that the amount awarded to Diaz by jurors was, quote unquote, excessive. So they felt that he was going to be getting paid too much money. Oryk slashed the nearly 90 percent to 15 million dollars while also rejecting Tesla's motion to reduce the amount to 300,000. In his 43-page ruling, Oryx said the effect of the racial discrimination on Diaz was profound and called Tesla's attempt to deny his experiences watered-down revisionism. But he also determined that the amount awarded to Diaz could trigger a new trial, which especially considering the punitive damages of $130 million seemed to exceed constitutional limits. Now, with that part being right there, I have to say that he actually slightly made a good point. Because... He probably knew Tesla would come after this guy again and they would drag it out in court again. So in that aspect, I can see his point, but that's just a huge drop from 137 to 15 million. But the guy still is now he's still a millionaire. He's just not all the way up there. But I feel that if this guy invests his money properly, he should be good. And I think a lot of people when I was reading the comment section where I originally saw this at agreed with that they said if he just invests his money properly then you know he'll be good now i don't know how much he's going to have left over after lawyer fees it probably won't be 15 million especially for a case of this magnitude but at least one thing with the judge is that he came back and he pushed to the side of tesla giving him what three hundred thousand dollars are you kidding me so at least he ran interference on that part Let's see if there's anything else here. According to Reuters, Diaz legal team plans to appeal the lower damages award. We're pleased that the court upheld the jury's finding that Tesla's conduct was absolutely reprehensible. Bernard Alexander, a lawyer for Diaz, told Reuters, the award of $15 million is substantial, but does not come close to reflecting the harm caused to Mr. Diaz or the reprehensibility of Tesla's conduct. During the trial, Diaz told the court that daily racial racist epithets were used in Tesla's plant in Fremont, California, including the N-word that racist graffiti and cartoons appeared in his workspace in the toilets and that he was told to go back to Africa by colleagues. Diaz alleged that Tesla supervisors failed to consistently intervene in these issues, and he told the jury that the stress of the situation caused him to suffer weight loss and sleepless nights. But the trial was seen as unusual based on the amount of money awarded to Diaz by the jury, with one expert calling it the largest verdict in an individual race discrimination and employment case history. And see, the thing is, what they're scared of is like he won something that massive that if another person, another black person, say, for example, work for a big company, it doesn't have to necessarily be Tesla was to sue. Then what they're going to do is, well, this guy over here at Tesla, he sued them for racial discrimination and won $137 million. So guess what's going to happen? People going to be expecting those larger payouts just like that, either 
in that range or more. And that's what they were scared of is that people will bleed a lot of these companies dry, you know, for racial discrimination. But at the same time, it will have these companies on their toes to think twice about who they hire um, when it comes to possible situations and cases like this. This wasn't the first time that Tesla has been ordered to pay a former employee in a harassment lawsuit. The company has faced numerous allegations of racial discrimination and harassment in its Fremont plant. Tesla reportedly paid $1 million to another former employee, Melvin Berry, who said he was called the N-word by a supervisor, and the company currently faces a class action lawsuit alleging racism at the same facility. Earlier this year, Tesla was sued by California Civil Rights Agency for operating what it describes as a racially segregated workplace. The state's Department of Fair Employment and Housing cases case against Tesla describes a wide range of discriminatory behavior and harassment at the company's Fremont factory. So this factory right here just seems to be a hotbed for anti-black racism. Just this one. Not saying it's not happening anywhere else, but it just seems like this one has the most issues. Then maybe they, I bet you if they threaten to shut down that plant, they'll get some act right then. But like I said, there's pros and cons to this. The pros is that, like the judge said, they won't have to continuously go to court because of this because he just knows that they're going to tie this thing up in litigation for so long. And it's like, what's the point? The con is that that is a huge drop from what he originally had to $15 million. And he most likely has to pay some lawyer fees, but at least his lawyers are saying that they're going to try to fight this or they're going to try to appeal this whole decision to see if he can maybe, if not get that much get a more maybe 50 percent because that's a huge drop from 137 to 15 million so maybe if they can go for half and see if they can if that's the highest they can get and see what they can get out of that and like i said hopefully he can invest the money properly and then he can grow it from there that's the only solution I had personally for him as far as him wanting the money to continue to grow from there. Because 15 million doesn't just fall out of the sky. It's unfortunate of how, you know, it got to this point. But look at the light at the end of the tunnel. He's now a millionaire on Tesla's dime. Also, you got to take into account that Tesla is a multi-billion dollar industry. $137 million is really a drop in the bucket for them. So I really don't see how that's completely excessive when you think about it. But I can see why they don't want to drag it out. But also at the same time, I, I would kind of side eye his attorneys because they're trying to keep this thing drag, you know, drag this out to get more money. That means that they get a bigger cut for attorney fees. And they probably know that with this $15 million, they ain't going to get much. And when they saw that $137 million, they saw that as a huge payday for them. And that huge payday went out the window when they dropped it from 137 to 15 million. So like I said, it's really a money grab at this point. To me, that's what it seems like. It seems like Tesla's trying to hold on to the money as well as their reputation, even though this kind of tarnishes it a little bit, but people are still gonna go on about that by that Tesla. And also his attorneys, they trying to get more money and they can't get that much out of 15 million.